Uh, welcome to our third crash course video. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to take this room and uh, we're going to add a little bit to it. We're going to give it a, a nice little uh, dome. And uh, we're going to also make sure that it has a, a door uh, so that way we can move on to the next room. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I uh, just want to expand it out. And uh, I want to give this a nice little uh, dome right here uh, from the top. So let's go ahead. Let's make that dome. I'm going to come here to Sphere. Uh, I'm going to create my sphere. Let's go ahead and just uh, try to gauge how big it's going to be. All right, and then we can go ahead. Uh, we could probably make it a little bit bigger. All right, so uh, now a couple ways we can do this. I can press E, and I can go ahead and scale it up this way. Um, you know, another way uh, that I can do this, though, is I found uh, scaling it up that way tends to uh, give some really interesting numbers uh, that are not nice and even, so we may be better off using this as our method. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and press... Uh, a five select this object. I'm going to move it. Uh, I'm going to position it right on top. And this is where it might be helpful to go ahead, switch to the top down view, and just make sure it's nice and aligned. Okay, now it's almost perfectly aligned. Uh, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to expand out just a little bit each of these walls. But I do want to make sure uh, that it does have the ability uh, to uh, have a little bit more ceiling headway. All right, so uh, now just double checking. Good, looks like it's in the middle. Uh, we're gonna now switch on up. Uh, let's pull this up here. And uh, for right now, I wanna just uh, go ahead with this object selected, I'm gonna cut this in half. Okay, so I'm gonna press F3, uh, switch over, Shift X. I'm gonna cut this in half. I'm gonna press, uh, let's see, which half do I want? Do I wanna keep that half or that half? I wanna keep this half, so press Enter. And when I switch back over, all right, now my dome, if you look though, this dome is outside, you know, the faces are all facing this way. I want them to face inside. So easy fix, press F. All right, now my faces are all inverted. Uh, but now I gotta go ahead and I've gotta align this. Okay, now as I align this, you'll notice, okay, well I have this here. How do I, uh, how do I get this hole in the wall filled? All right, well, let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's do this the correct way. Uh, by trying to reduce as many n-gons as possible. I'm going to delete this face, right? And I'm going to make sure that this is uh, a little bit... Uh, yeah, this is perfect. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Double-click the edges so all the edges are selected. I'm going to press E. Notice that I now have uh, my scale. I'm going to hold down Shift. Okay, now holding down Shift, I'm going to click on this axis and expand it outwards. And uh, now what I've done is I have extruded the edges along my X plane. Kind of looks like a nice little top hat here. Um, and, and I've given me a way to go ahead and manipulate the vertices. Okay, so now that I've done this, all I got to do is I can just take these vertices, uh, select it in vertice mode, press T, and just go through and just make sure it's nice and matched up. So here, okay, I've matched up all my vertices almost on one side. And it's a little bit of a process, but in doing this, um, I've avoided the fill hole option. Okay, I'll explain the fill hole option a little bit later, uh, but right now, uh, this is going to be a great way for us to continue to try to build off of what uh, we tried to establish since the very first crash course, uh, a way for us to have good habits in our workflow. And so this is going to finish up and you could use a 2d view for this it might be faster but i am almost done here and finished all right so we now have uh, a way for us to create a dome uh, where all of the inside faces are showing the correct way not facing outwards and we've also made sure that our vertices there we go that's the last one are lined up, giving us uh, a bunch of quads. All right. So <clears throat> the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and uh, I want to add uh, a window. Okay. So adding a window over here is uh, not going to be too hard. I'm going to select this face. Now 
I want to also point out, if I press Control D, you'll notice that Control D, which would normally split it up into four equal faces, doesn't work. And so no matter how many times I press Control D, it's not going to do it. And the reason why is this is actually an n-gon. And if it, you can't tell why it's an n-gon, I'm actually going to point out right here, there's a vertice that's actually causing this face. So I'm going to press Control H. We're going to isolate it. Take a look here. It's actually made up of five sides. One, two, three, four, five. So here's how I can fix this. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to separate this from the rest. I press U to unhide it. I'm going to press Alt N to make it its own object. Notice if I select between the two, this face is now its own object. And uh, I'm going to get rid of this vertice. So I'm going to uh, go ahead. I'm going to hide everything. Control H grab this vertice, delete it, okay, if I unhide everything. Now I select the face, press Control D, okay, perfect. I've got here uh, my window that uh, I'm going to make by double clicking. Let's go ahead and bevel this. Same here, let's bevel this. You see how I'm going to make this window? Okay, I'm just going to go ahead, let's pull this out. Let's pull this out. All right, now I've got a window that I can make. Okay, I, I'm going to... Select this face, hold down shift, extrude this out. Okay. Now I, I don't want to delete this face. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna give it a skybox for right now. So go ahead, change to skybox. I'm gonna explain this later, but for right now, if I want them to look out this like it's a window, uh, go ahead and apply the skybox material to it, and this is gonna seal this off. Okay, what I don't want to do. I don't want to delete this and leave this deleted because what I'm actually doing is now I'm creating a hole for Viz and it's going to be a nightmare. We, we want to try to create everything sealed off as much as possible. And so make sure skybox texture is applied. And uh, now if I want to see what it looks like without any of these extra materials, I press Shift O. And I can now see my world without any of these entities and any of these triggers. And uh, I now have here a room with a dome and a window I can look out. And, we haven't added a skybox, we'll add that next, and I still have this room here from earlier. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed our third course. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, hopefully uh, subscribe and like as we're going along. I'll see you on crash course number four.